Today is the D Day. The demolition. No, that's not a good word. Um, this assembly. This assembly day. Finally. Been waiting for a very long time. I think I have everything in order. I have even uh, emptied a box and we are going to take apart the 1979 Ironhead Sportster. I am charging the battery because the generator is not working and I really wanted to hear her the one last time uh, go for a little spin around the block uh, before I take the bike apart because who knows when she's gonna be running next time and uh, look at this can you hear it? it's bloody raining come on fuck off rain excuse my language I wanna go for a spin um, I might get a freaking raincoat on and go anyway uh, because I really do want to hear the bike go and uh, uh, so be it and then I can start taking it apart so um, yeah um, gonna get the key uh, gonna get dressed and uh, we'll pop around the block let's do it Actually, I really love the two-in-one exhaust. I might keep it that way. So, yeah, man, what a fun bike! Okay, so that is. Uh, that's the end of uh, riding this bike. Not that I actually ridden it properly, but now when she's fully wet, I can take her apart. Not the best thing to do, but uh, bugger it. You know, I needed to have a have a last go, and I'm going to undress and dry, and uh, then uh, we'll start the disassembly. And. Um, I don't know if you noticed, excuse the drying rack, uh, the carpets, I have relocated stuff, so uh, I have the bikes out at the moment, and uh, the nook has been changed, so there used to be the Beamer, there was the Triumph, and now I put the lathe at the end, and uh, if I need to get there I can, it has a nice little uh, space, I have put a couple lights on, so uh, I can see what I'm doing and uh, yeah this is a much better use of the space so uh, and uh, by the way I'm trying to sell my BMW if you guys interested um, comes with a bunch of spares I have um, another 
this rear wheel has a like a off road tire, but I have a spare wheel which sits oh right there. It has a more of a road tire on. Comes with the boxes and tools. Have the rocks risers, full on aluminium bars, uh, the foldable mirrors. She's ready for your off road adventures. So uh, you want a bike? Uh, get the bike, so I can have more space for my iron heads. <laughs> That's the journey we are taking. So okay, I'm gonna get undressed and dry, and then. Uh, We'll start taking the bike apart. All right, I shall see you soon. All right, so uh, plan of the attack is um, we'll do the seat off, tank off, so we can get to the engine. I'll remove the battery. I shall uh, keep the engine apart, but we take the exhaust off. And um, I start doing the electric so I can get all the bars and everything off, the speedos and everything so we can uh, isolate the engine and um, then we do the chain and everything what I can so she's just a empty roller just the front fork front wheel will drain the uh, brake calipers front and rear we'll drain the tank we drain the oil we do all of that so she's all an empty so I can get all the way to the frame. I try, will try to undo the electrics without doing too much damage to the harness, but I will be wiring it totally differently. I'll probably wire it as uh, these two irons. I'll uh, probably use the uh, motor gadget and unit again. Yeah, we'll see where I mount it. But yeah, so uh, that's the start. So uh, it's a bit daunting, but um, yeah. I just get on with it. It looks I had nothing else to do at night, so I made a little animation. So uh, here we go. We will remove the electrical system, then handlebars, then fender and tank and a seat, and then I think I'll go for a rear fender, remove the struts, electrical box, oil tank, and then. Um, what did I remove there? Oil filter, exhaust, um, all the rear sprocket, then we'll remove the engine out and um, tires, but I'll keep the tires, I'll leave it as a roller, but that way we can get to the frame and um, then I'll chop it like that and we'll weld on the rest of the tail light. That's the plan. Alright, alright, I am pretty spent. Close the door. I'll show you where we at. Do you remember what the bike looked like? Ta da! Where is everything? We have the oil tank on, all the rear fender, rear assembly, front fender gone, all the light assembly, and uh, now I just have to. Finish taking the wiring off and uh, pop the engine out. So, um, yeah, it's a huge progress. Um, hopefully, I'll finish uh, this assembly tomorrow. And um, 
I can send the photographs to um, uh, the certifier guy. So um, we'll see what happens um, after that. Um, yeah, I was just looking at the rear frame. This one, this hardtail is pretty wide at the end. And I'm gonna still run with the original tires, so the frame's gonna be pretty wide. Um, I want to use my old fender, might be too short. I don't know, maybe I uh, have to find some uh, other fender. Uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is where we're at. It's just a shell. Few hours of work, hey? Taking everything apart. Uh, it's pretty scary. I have never done anything. Well, I only build a bike. I haven't uh, uh, taken it apart. So, uh, yeah, uh, pretty spooky. If I was supposed to put the wiring back together as it was, I would not do it. Um, that's too difficult to uh, run everything the way it was, especially if you're trying to figure out the old wiring harness it's just a uh, total chaos and you don't know what wire is doing where it's going uh, so uh, when i will wire this bike i'll run everything from scratch from the start so uh, all right um i'll continue tomorrow well see you tomorrow hey hello hello good morning oh the afternoon uh, today is the day two of this assembly so this morning I went for a ride, which was fun, and I have had a friend here who is going to help me to weld this uh, together to uh, just kind of go over a few bits with uh, the frame and stuff. One thing we have noticed, um, so this is a um, lowbrow hardtail. My friend is a professional welder and uh, I uh, approved of the welds, so it's beautiful. One thing he did notice is that... Um, um, well, everything is slightly bent. I think from the heat, you can see the posts down there. And then we're going to chamfer the edge because it's a sharp. And so we're gonna uh, miter it, chamfer it, so um, we can fill that gap with a weld later on and get a better seating. Um, but when you see the guys, you know, they do stuff to bikes and then uh, drill a bunch of holes and things so I'll have to figure out how to cover it up and um, that's it so I'm just going to take the rest of the electrics out and uh, potentially take the engine out so I can uh, take a photo excuse me take the photo out I can take the engine out and I can take a photograph to send to the certified gentleman uh, George the friend he said keep it on the wheels keep it roller so we'll just bring the whole thing to his workshop and uh, take the rest of it uh, off afterwards. So yeah, let's uh, just get going and um, take this bike apart. time has arrived. Let's take the engine out. I could have taken the generator out and the air intake to make the engine lighter for starters and um, also the uh, air intake is holding me in a top tube so um, I have to uh, figure out if I can uh, push it through without disassembly. Um, as you notice I had to put the uh, couple straps in because the frame was moving way too much for my liking um, let's give it a go uh, let's try again come on Mario you can do it take it take it um, looking for some good grip she's almost out now let the air intake clear up oh, come on no that's going <laughs> oh no there we go okay she's still on the frame and um, now the engine fully cleared up, you see it in my face. Um, wait a second, I lift it up and now she is fully on my knees. And now what? 
I look around and <laughs> don't know what to do with it. Where am I gonna put it? I didn't really think this through. Bloody hell. Okay, let's just drop it down on the oil tray. Oh, frame moving. Damn. <laughs> hold it, Mario. Hold it. Um, yeah, you can say that again. That was a bit of a um, ordeal. Um, I didn't realize that these uh, engines are almost 190 pounds or close to 100 kilos. Um, but hey, she's out. <laughs> happy days. My bag won't be happy tomorrow, but um, that's all right. I'll recover. Okie doke, folks. Um, my bag is going to thank me tomorrow. Holy fuck. Oh my goodness. Um, I kind of forgotten how heavy the engine is. And uh, to be honest, I could have helped myself with uh, taking the carburetor off and the air intake because that adds extra weight but as it happens well I am also wearing the safety shoes um, I was wearing boots before but then it was quite warm so I put my other safety shoes and then I almost dropped the whole engine on my tipsy toesies um, yeah that was a little bit of a moment of what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Do I drop it? Do I do it? No, 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 no. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And then I managed to slide and slip and do all the right stuff, hopefully. So, uh, my engine, ta da! Is out. There she is. Oh. Oh, look. Blood. Um, and here is our naked rain. Two days of work. Well, I could have probably done it yesterday. A day and a half, I'd say. And um, we just have the skeleton. I'm leaving the wheels on. We're going to put the whole frame into the jig and then uh, uh, line everything up with the hardtail and um, welded the proper way yeah oh man i think i shrunk about an inch <laughs> oh my spine collapsed lifting the engine oh bollocks never mind okay so this was a little fast forward this assembly of a motorcycle what's left the front end and the rear end it's easy i'm not even worried about this that's later and I'll just chop it there, chop it there, marry it up, clean it up, weld it, line it, tune it, and then uh, we'll start figuring everything else out. Um, but yeah, okay, enough rumbling, I'm tired, dinner time. Uh, so you guys, thank you very much for being with me on this uh, little disassembly journey, and I will see you on the next video. So, say... If you, by the way, if you have any idea how to put the engine back in easy without me breaking my back, uh, and don't tell me, like, bring a friend in, <laughs> uh, how I can do it myself, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm interested to know. Um, anyway, push the button, say hello, um, subscribe, you know, do all the usual stuff if you haven't not yet done, whatever. And, um, yeah, I'll... Um, See you on the next video. All right. Bye.